News at 5.30. Good evening and thanks again for joining us. I'm Mark Killer. We start tonight with what some are calling a real-life mystery. Where is Bill Morse? It's a question many people, including police, have been asking since the Sugarloaf Township man went missing in June. The I-Team's Andy Mahalshik has been working on this story since day one and joins us now from the Control Center with the latest developments. Andy. Well, Mark, the state police have now taken over this investigation. In fact, in a rare move indeed, troopers from two state police barracks are working this case, Hazelden Troop N and Wyoming Troop P. They tell me they're committed to finding the answer to that question. Where is Bill Morse? This is one of the last photographs taken of 59-year-old Bill Morse. It was June 11th as he walked in Jim Thorpe, Carbon County. Family and friends say he returned to his home on Hollow Road in Sugarloaf Township and disappeared that evening. His family reported him missing several days later. In July, tracking dogs searched the woods near Morse's home. They found nothing. In October, a Chevy Suburban owned by Morse was seized by police from a repair garage in Sugarloaf Township. That vehicle was taken to the state police crime lab in Wyoming for examination. Now, Sugarloaf Township police had been leading this investigation, but that changed in recent weeks, with state troopers taking control of that case. Luzerne County detectives are also assisting state troopers. I can't say much um, at this point. I will tell you it is under investigation and that we are progressing with the investigation. We are keeping it close to our chest in order to protect the investigation. District Attorney Stephanie Salavanta says it is being so closely guarded that... Any documents that are filed are sealed in, in order to protect the integrity of the investigation. Now, in the early days of this investigation, Morse's family members told me they did not think foul play was involved. They told me at that time he was coping with some psychological issues. We reached out again to the family for comment today. At this point in time, we have not heard back from them. Now, close friends of Morse told me that he would simply not just walk away. They say it's totally unlike him. They have even offered a $10,000 reward for information that leads to his whereabouts. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Mark? Six months later, still waiting for those final answers, Andy. Thanks. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Bill Morse, call state police or 911.